Alright guys, welcome back to the channel, welcome back to Further Beyond Gaming, my name is Cody GT, and in today's video we're going to be continuing the series taking a look at the Valkyrie Kallen. We're going to look at each and every one of her battle suits and rate them from worst to best. Now remember to keep in mind that just because we're rating the worst battle suit to the best doesn't mean that the worst one is bad. It's just how we have to rate them. And remember that this is just in a general sense, so not in a particular area, as well as this is just for fun. Also, I did want to go ahead and note that this may be essentially the last video in the series because all we have left after Kalen is the Ola Nieva's twins, uh, which is Lilia and Rosalia, and then Durandal. And obviously, Durandal is the only one um, of herself so far until we get S rank Durandal. And even then, uh, we only have two. Um, so, this is essentially going to be the last, I didn't mean to click that button, the last video in the series. So, um, with that also being said, in the comments down below, let me know. Uh, which series you would like me to go ahead and do next uh, after this one and I'll probably post a uh, community post in, in my channel um, asking you guys the same questions so you can go over there and actually go ahead and uh, post your comment over there as well as in this video down below. Uh, with that also being said, if you enjoyed today's video, go ahead and drop a like. You guys have been absolutely killing it as of late. The support has been amazing. I do appreciate it. And if you're new to the channel, you enjoyed what you saw today, go ahead and consider subscribing. And remember to hit the notification bell to stay notified every time I do upload a new video. But with all of that out of the way, that was a lot to get through. Uh, let's go ahead and jump straight into it. So like I mentioned, today is Callen. And essentially the last video in the series is kind of sad because I really have enjoyed this series and I think you guys have as well. You've shown tremendous support for it and um, it's been amazing. So that's why I want you guys to leave me a comment down below which would be the next thing or next series you would like me to go ahead and start uh, because I do enjoy these videos. Anyways, with that being said, let's go ahead and jump straight into it. I feel like I rambled a lot. So the worst battle suit for Kallen, in my opinion, personally, is Huntress Kallen. Um, the reason being is because Huntress Kallen, uh, keep in mind, when she was first introduced, um, she looked amazing. Obviously, from a character design standpoint, I really love the design. Um, really reminds me of a post Honkai Odyssey. Like, I could really see Huntress Kallen being in a post Honkai Odyssey, in my opinion. And I was really excited for her to come out. Um, the thing is, is her being a mecha type uh, just didn't really help all that much. And she does some pretty good damage, especially if you do have her fully equipped. Her ultimate looks absolutely amazing. Uh, she turns into basically a Gundam in a sense, and she does uh, a lot of good damage. I really did like her from a character design standpoint, from an ultimate move standpoint, but from a practical standpoint, uh, using her on certain teams and just there being better mecha options she just wasn't in my opinion really all that viable but just like any valkyrie in this game if you really implement the resources you really put some time into the valkyrie they can be viable and you can actually use them um she just didn't really bring a whole lot with her kit except you know pretty much damage in my opinion as you can see and pretty good survivability um she's pretty easy to use uh, and so she's just she's a good Valkyrie I find her to be one of those where if you you use her because you really like her um, you like her gameplay style you like her design you just like Huntress Kallen as a Valkyrie in general so that's why you use her in my opinion she's not one that you'll actually use because she's meta defining or she's a better option than other Valkyries I think she's one of those Valkyries where you use her because you just truly like this Valkyrie in general. For me, that would be like, you know, Ice Rita or Striker Fulminata, for example. Striker Fulminata is not really meta defining and she's not really one that you're going to pick over another Valkyrie for a certain Memorial Arena boss or anything of that nature. I just like her uh, a lot because I like her gameplay style. So that is Huntress Kallen. I believe as of right now, she is the uh, worst battle suit for Kallen. And then moving on from there, we would have Ritual Kallen. Um, now, Ritual Kallen, when she first was introduced, I really liked Ritual Kallen. I still do to this day. Um, her design is absolutely amazing. I love her character design. Um, and I like her gameplay style a lot. I like what she brings to the table. 
And I think she's a really good Valkyrie, especially once again, if you invest in her and put the time and resources, I think she could be a really good Valkyrie for you. She was good for some Memorial Arena bosses as well. And I think she's a good mecha option, especially for my free-to-play players. If you don't really have any of the other good top tier mecha valkyries she may be one that you can go ahead and put on a team and actually do really well for you because she does some great damage she has good survivability because she has some invincibility frames um and her ultimate is pretty decent it's nothing to really you know write home about it's okay she's easy to use and she has good control so i really like ritual Callan. um just from a character design standpoint a gameplay standpoint she really fits my gameplay style um, and I just, you know, I, I enjoy her. So, um, I haven't used her a whole lot as of late. She has fallen off for me, of course. Um, and with her, again, being a mecha type doesn't really help all that much because as of right now, there's some really good mecha type Valkyries. And then with S Rang Durandal coming out here very soon, that's just going to get even worse <laughs> for the mechas because they're going to be stacked after S Rang Durandal comes out. I mean, now we're talking about Cyber and Jabronia. Uh, Memento has became, uh, top tier in the forefront shadow knight it's just it's really hard for a mecha type right now and so ritual Callan definitely has ball off as well as huntress Callan. um but i still like ritual Callan. oh also in the comments down below i forgot to mention um let me know your list down below i always like to see your guys's list they're usually different than mine and i like to read them all i do read them all so um absolutely love seeing that so let me know in the comments down below your guys's list and then of course maybe to nobody's surprise last but not least the best Kalen, of course is uh six serenade there's really nothing to go into depth about here i'm sure you guys already know uh being a psychic ice elemental she is definitely i think far above and beyond all the other uh Kalen's the best one this one wasn't really difficult to find the best battle suit for Kalen. Uh, because I, I think it's just six serenade, you know, without a doubt. And I don't know if too many people would argue that. Um, maybe. I, I would love to see that in the comments. Um, but, yeah, six serenade, when she was first introduced, I instantly fell in love with her. Instantly fell in love with her gameplay style. And I put her on l literally, I think, just about every team. And I used her a tremendous amount. <laughs> because her gameplay style was absolutely fits mine perfectly um she was a valkyrie that at the time did tons of damage as you can see her damage is off the charts uh she's incredibly easy to use um you can give her to a player that just started honkai for the very first time and they will be able to use six serenade uh properly it's not difficult to use six serenade her ultimate does tons of damage um, she's just an amazing, amazing Valkyrie. Not to mention her applicable weapon, the Tranquil Arius, did get a pre-arm, uh, which made Six Serenade herself that much better, in my opinion. Um, but some people argue that the Tranquil Arius is better than the Tranquil Rhapsody because it's more versatile with other Valkyries. That is true, and I do agree, and it's better for that switch in, switch out playstyle. But if we're talking about for Six Serenade specifically, um, and leaving her out on the field, which is my gameplay style and what I like to do when I played Six Serenade, then the Tranquil Rhapsody was the way to go. Um, and with that weapon, she does a tremendous amount of damage. Uh, this weapon really just made um, Six Serenade output more damage as well as uh, gave her that phantom type mode to where she has tons of uh, invincibility. Uh, she's able to phase through enemies. She's able to then pull them in when she comes out and they'll go straight into her charge attack where she's phasing through enemies. Um, so this weapon, I think in my opinion, is fantastic for her. If you like to leave her out on the field and allow her to do more damage, and maybe not be so more versatile with other Valkyries, uh, mainly just for Six Serenade. So um, I really do like Six Serenade. This costume is amazing. I wish I had this costume. Uh, and so she still is one of my most favorite Valkyries to use. When I'm going for a Psychic type, she's always my top three, top four, top five pick that I go to when it comes to Psychic types. So um, absolutely amazing. Fits on a lot of good teams, especially if we're looking at an Elemental team. Um, she fits on that team really well. 
and uh, a good psychic damage dealer for you. So uh, six serenade, in my opinion, is the best Kalen out of the bunch. Um, but let me know in the comments down below what you guys think. I know this was a bit of a short one because there's not a whole lot of Kalens to go ahead and choose from. Um, but I hope you enjoyed the video nonetheless. Um, and like I mentioned in the comments down below, let me know what series you would like me to go ahead and do next. Um, I would really like to go ahead and create a brand new one for you guys since this one is essentially done and I do have a playlist on my channel for this series if you want to go ahead and binge watch all of them uh, you can click on that playlist and binge watch all this uh, series from Kiana which is amazing that we gone through them all already uh, from Kiana all the way to Callan we went through every single one of them um, so I hope you guys enjoyed this series and uh, I cannot wait to continue a new one and I cannot wait to see you guys in the next video but with that being said I'm gonna get out of here remember to stand out be different have fun go further beyond in everything that you do and until next time my boys until next time it's your homie Cody GT and I'm out <laughs>